process is nowhere close to where it should have been more than two years later. I note with concern the use of rhetoric about war heroes never being brought to trial. This seems to me to misrepresent the target of transitional justice accountability measures and also by forgetting that no one who has committed violations of human rights or the loss of war deserves to be called a hero. I will add that the promise mentioned above regarding war heroes is a legally unenforceable political statement. Needless to say, it offers absolutely no warranty internationally. As the recent case presented in Brazil against a former member of the armed forces demonstrates, accountability will be sought either here or abroad. You spoke about the case presented in Brazil, in general. You spoke about uh, the statement uh, where Sri Lankan government leaders continues to make war heroes will never be brought to trial. So did you speak to the uh, President Sivisena or the Prime Minister who keeps continuing saying this uh, in your meeting with him? The only thing that can be said with total certainty is that the case presented in Brazil against a former member of the Sri Lankan Armed Forces is the tip of an iceberg that predictably you can expect many, many cases of this sort in the future. The promise that war heroes will always be completely shielded is a promise that, strictly speaking, has a legal dimension that can only be determined by the appropriate organ of the judicial system, in the Sri Lankan case, the Office of the Attorney General. Promises made even by the political leadership about the fate of legal cases constitute a violation of judicial powers. So I think it seems to me that that is a promise that would be very, very difficult to fulfill.